week, it's your boy Josh Commissions with another video, Coding Clothes. This week, it's the Supreme Lookbook Week. Yes, we finally got it. It's gonna be the Summer 2024 Lookbook. I'm really excited to get straight into it. You're gonna be seeing my live reactions. Let me know what you guys think, if you're gonna be copying anything this season. And without further ado, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. All right, guys, getting straight into the fucking live cop. We're gonna, <laughs> oh shit, excuse my French, but um, getting straight into the live cop, we have this leather brown jacket with some gemstones. Um, just gonna take a quick peek at it. A uh, gem studded leather jacket. Honestly, pretty cool design. Uh, let's see if it has any back hit. Definitely has a crazy back hit. Uh, honestly, not something I would rock. I do see some people, you guys in the East Coast, be rocking this stuff, but. Here in LA, you know, Orange County and shit, so like, it's way too hot, so you won't see me grabbing any of this. Um, same thing with these two jackets. I see it's a calibration with Shop. Not too familiar with the brand, but honestly, I think the tan looks a lot nicer than the black, but definitely, again, pass for me. Uh, these were the lookbook items. Uh, the Supreme one and red looks pretty crazy honestly not too fan of the des not too much of a fan of a de of the design my bad but um i don't know like i i see it doing well just because it was kind of the teaser item but not really like you know long run don't really see it going much in value and don't see honestly the hype that i would have to see behind it to really see it perform as it should be but Continuing on guys, we have some more varsity jackets. Um, these varsity jackets are pretty clean. Seem to have some type of like collaboration behind it too, but we've seen a lot of this before. Not too much resale that I can see, but these fox fur jackets, ooh, let's take a quick look at these. They're looking real nice. Honestly, this gray color is pretty insane. Fox fur jacket, the texture looks insane and the quality looks on point. So definitely look out for those. Um, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, Supreme has really, really good uh, quality when it comes to their jackets. They're heavy, they're durable, and you know, just they're on point. We also have these like Gore-Tex items. Um, oh, actually they're not Gore-Tex. They're just regular puffers, but they're reversible. So I see this with a lot of potential. These are really nice qualities. Um, the colorways are crazy. Definitely all three of them should be performing pretty well. Uh, this vest jacket, don't really see it doing that well. Um, kind of a shitty design, to be honest. If you guys had to choose, I guess the black, but not really. The giant S logo, we're kind of getting tired of seeing the same uh, idea. But if you guys are interested, definitely cop these. But honestly, don't see them doing much. Y you know, I could be surprised, but honestly, don't see them recently for much. They have three different colorways, but to me it's a pass. We have these really nice work jackets. They remind me of the Dickies like uh, material. They're the Arc Denim Coach jackets. Honestly, I think really good quality. I think definitely something you guys should look out for. I think it's really nice. And I'm telling you quality wise, these are gonna be insane. Colorway, ooh, the navy blue and the purple are kind of loud. The olive green is also insane. And the black is just subtle. But I definitely think these would be a cop on my end. But so far, so good, honestly, for this season. Let's keep going. So we got some Fisher uh, Fishtail Parkas, I think they're called. Honestly, I've seen these before. These are kind of outdated, in my opinion. I remember I used to want these back in high school, but <clears throat> now it's just like, you know, early 2000s vibes. But, you know, the black is cool, the camel is cool, but not my cup of tea, to be honest with you guys. We have this really cool uh, Gore-Tex jacket, taped seam shell jacket, so looks really nice. The camo, like, swamp print is insane. Whoa, we got Hermit the Crab, I mean, <laughs> Hermit the Frog, <coughs> the Crab, <clears throat> sorry, I have a cold, but <clears throat> Hermit the Frog on the back is kind of insane. Um, I definitely see this reselling for tons, to be honest with you. The last uh, Hermit collaboration did well, and I think this is such a subtle way of putting it back into like the Supreme rotation. So definitely look out for that. Then we have some more Parka jackets, or I guess like, you know, that uh, knockoff Arcteryx. But these three are really nice. You got three more uh, Gore-Tex ones. These are really nice as well. This is looking like a crazy jacket. Let's see. 
We have an AOI hooded work jacket. Wow, the patches on this are insane. And you guys know Supreme with patches, anything Supreme patches will always resell and perform really well. So definitely keep an eye out for these. They have all the major cities on the back looking super nice. Honestly, the graphic is really impressive too. It's like an astronaut with some Japanese uh, work of art, honestly. <clears throat> Let's see, do they have any other colorways? They do have the navy colorway. Honestly, I think the navy over the darker teal, but both both rustic colorways are pretty good, and they're gonna be doing good just because they are the patchwork jackets. Um, continuing on, let's see. We do have more of these like uh, regular jackets. Um, you know, more for like, I guess, personal use, but not really gonna resell. We got some more camo of these like, work jackets honestly this brown one is looking pretty cool really got my attention on um, the quilted work jacket looks really nice Ooh, with the inside hit yo definitely something you guys should be looking out for they're also reversible so i see this having some really good potential definitely something you guys should be looking out for and the resale seems to be there honestly Ooh, another crazy jacket denim core trucker jacket beautiful color honestly Quality looks insane. <clears throat> the all over print for them for this one though, Supreme, I don't know. But I do see it reselling just because a lot of people are big on prints. So they do want to show it off as much as they can. Continuing on, we got some more jackets. Um, <clears throat> pretty clean on my opinion, but nothing too crazy. Um, we also got these varsity jackets with some hoods. Honestly guys, I've seen this a lot. I think this style is really out of style and it's just played out, you know. I remember using this back in like, you know, my early freshman to like junior, junior, I'm um, junior high times. But honestly, I, th I think it's kind of played out. We don't do this in the East uh, West Coast anymore. It's also really hot. But let me know if you guys still rocking with the varsity with the hoods, honestly, because I think it's kind of outdated, but if you guys had to go for one, I say just go the simple black. Going on now, we have some more satin hooded track jackets. Honestly, this one's looking real clean. The quality looks insane, and the texture is just beautiful. Honestly, um, I, th I think definitely keep an eye out for that. That's really good, and it looks to be like with an Italian brand or some Italian logo. But we're having three of these. <clears throat> Then we have these beautiful um, curved track jackets. Yeah, definitely look out for these. These are definitely gonna be a cop. If you guys can get your hands on some of these things, I definitely appreciate uh, you guys going for these because these are gonna age really well. They're nice for personal use, they're good for resale. Um, definitely something I'm gonna be going for. I am on the market for some new jackets, so you guys already know I'm gonna be trying to go for these. They also got some three satin uh, jackets as well. The baby blue and the black look nice, but also the olive isn't much of a sleeper, so definitely try to go for those. Um, we got two more of these other like track jackets. The purple is crispy, yo. They need to give me like the coating clothes collaboration, honestly, bro. All this purple they're using, they need to give me some credit, right? <clears throat> I'm joking, but um, yeah, those were also pretty cool. Um, we have some more puffers. Puffers don't really do as uh, well without the North Face hit, so you guys already know. And then we got this crazy, what is this? Whoa, Muppets Flea Jacket. Honestly, this Muppets Flea Jacket looks pretty insane. The graphic on this is beautiful with that like gradient, damn. You know, honestly, a thousand percent should go for this, guys. It's gonna have good resale. I know just because it's the Muppets behind the idea. Wearing this is loud. <coughs> Definitely something that's gonna be selling out real quick, 100%. We finally got to the shirts. You guys already know, Supreme with shirts, honestly, unless it's like a cool, crazy collaboration, there's not really much to go off of. So we're just gonna kind of breeze through these. Honestly, nothing too oppressive here. We just regular tees. Yeah, but, ooh, this one catches my eye. What is this, Mosaic SS shirt, okay. Bisco original work by Jim Power. Okay, this honestly is the type of shirt that I was just referring to a lot earlier. It looks like we have this like glass cracked uh, New York mo mo mosaic, my bad. But it's looking real nice with like a satin kind of feel to it. 
but definitely something you guys i would definitely be copying this this is actually really nice aside from the artwork you know just such a beautiful image they decided to choose so definitely something like that and then i got this tracy jacord uh, ss shirt um honestly this isn't too crazy but it comes in three colors i think all three of them are nice but continuing on guys I'm not trying to waste too much time on the shirts Oof, but now we got some more knitted sweaters and you guys know about supreme and knitted sweaters so knitted sweaters go crazy with them so we have the star sweaters acrylic baby blue colorway with the stars on the like shoulder chest area Oof, this military green with like that gold and black looks so like world war ii definitely gonna be like something you guys should look out for then we got the raiders the colorway <coughs> Yeah, honestly, I'm a, I really fuck with these uh, crewnecks. Those are really nice, but I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I saw this Yo, apparently it's called Yo Baby Sweater, but it caught my eye straight off the bat. This thing is insane. It looks like we're coming back with some Playboy ideas. Honestly, they need to bring that like collaboration back, but it's Yo Baby, Yo Baby. I don't really understand what it is, but the artwork is by Brenny Imes beautiful sweater definitely something you guys should be going for and definitely gonna have tons of resale value i already have no doubt in this sweater but continuing on then we got some more hooded uh more crew neck more crew neck uh wow we have this all over print on the fatora sweater it's called arc on resort by fatora this one's gonna have a lot of resale i think the idea is crispy and the look is insane so definitely something you guys should look out for the Supreme hit is beautiful. The sweater is insane. So I'm excited to see when that's gonna drop. Continuing on through the sweaters though, we have this, ooh, another nice knitted sweater, okay? So we have this Paisley sweater, all cotton. Not much info on it, but it looks, it's giving me that like, the white colorway is actually giving me like some Picasso slash like Kooji feel so definitely the I would be going for this and the Playboy 100% in the white colorway Both of these are gonna be cops for sure and I'm gonna do my best to try to get these so you boys stay out the Stay out um, from getting this in your car, bro. Honestly, I'm trying to actually take something home this season. All right <clears throat> Other than a box logo But yeah, no definitely um this cool like uh, 90s uh, what would I call it? Like, um, Street Fighter look is really cool. Key, this is just um, some like, scriptures, not that important. Uh, it's okay, this colorway for like a half zip. Uh, that looks like chicken noodle soup, so I don't really know what they're doing with that. So, going on, guys, just making this as quick as possible. Um, we also, why is it not zooming in? Okay. We also got some more hood. We're finally at the hoods. Um, wow, we got we see that like texture again that they brought back, but this one's gonna be for a small hooded sweater. And it's coming out in all the colors, but definitely the woods is gonna be the best uh, bang for your buck. So definitely try to go for that. Then going straight down the list. So we have more of this. Um, we got some like Chargers wannabe. Uh, Football, hood, sweater, whatever it is. Definitely looks kind of nice. Then we got some Fatora a print on a, just a regular hoodie. That's going to be doing good. And we got just a regular jacket with that says holy name. Uh, not too impressive. I'm going down, going down. By the way, guys, like quick pause. But I think the, cl the, the clothing this season is just insane. Like there's so many things that I'm really calling out. Like, damn, it's just crazy, honestly. But then we also got this like tie-dye uh, sweater, has potential. What's this, UGK hooded. Uh, don't know much about this brand, but let me know if you guys know what this brand is. Um, the print is really cool. Trail, Pontna's returning, right and dirty, the raw version. Out of Port Art, Texas, and into it all. Um, pretty cool sweater. Don't know much about the brand, but let me know what you guys think. And let me know any background you guys may have. <clears throat> Whoa, collage zip up hooded sweatshirt. Holy shit, this thing is insane. Yeah, no, this one is by far the hardest hoodie in this season right now. Holy fuck. 
Yeah, a thousand percent. You guys need to catch this in your car. I'm gonna be going for it. I don't give a fuck. This thing is insane. I might keep this for myself, to be honest. Damn. Oh my god. But no, by far a crazy, crazy, crazy hoodie. But continuing on, let's see. We got Milan. So this Milan thing is pretty sick. Ooh, let's actually click on it. Pink Milan. Looking nice. Yo, they got all the cities in different colors. This is looking like New York, Chicago. Uh, I don't even know, but Los Angeles. And one of these has to be San Francisco. Hard. Yeah, definitely gonna see me getting one of those too. Again, guys, I gotta get as many hoodies as I can for this season, shit. <coughs> we got some football. We got this um, little girl with a dog. I don't know what it is. Um, Margaret Keen Best Friends. Um, let me know what you guys think this is. Because honestly, I don't know too much about it. Kind of fucking creepy. But if you guys are into that shit, by far a really good shirt. Okay, then we got more shirts. More shirts. Ooh, we got another like pastel paint S uh, John Smith artwork. Yeah, this one's really insane, honestly. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the shirt, but this charcoal is really nice. I'd get this one. With the Supreme back hit? Oh, for sure. Gray and tan. Fuck yeah. Crazy. I think we got ahead of ourselves, but definitely fucking clean shirt. Then we got the athletic, like, soccer jersey. Kind of a pass. Then we got this mini box logo. Is that what it is? All over print. Small box logo. What is that? It's just like the reversed. Nah, that's more of a pass, but um, we'll see. And then we got leaving off here. Shirts, shirts, not too impressive. Aw, oh, bro, I've been needing a baseball jersey so badly. And I know there's uh, I'm the One music video by Justin Bieber, Quavo, uh, DJ Khaled, Lil Wayne. Uh, definitely, Justin Bieber has like a black one that I've been wanting. I can't find it, but the fact that they're bringing out this and they're bringing it black definitely gonna be copping you already know that shit damn it sounds like it's gonna be a heavy season as, as far as money bro that's not such a good look for me honestly but um <clears throat> football jersey more shirts more shirts um not too impressive camo shirt um sweater whatever um yo 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 we looking like we got some soccer info Mardona soccer jersey, you know this shit's gonna be hard and all my Latinos are gonna be trying to cop that shit for sure That shit, that shit's gonna go crazy But continuing on uh, Let's see we got another jersey here. This is honestly an insane baseball jersey two um, With the patches. Oh, yeah Bad for cash. Yeah, I think this is sick. Um, not the one I'm gonna be going for but I definitely think one of the cooler jerseys as well then we got more Supreme. Then we got like this spider web Supreme football jersey. Whoa, spider web football jersey. Exactly what I thought. Ooh, the purple and white is insane. Yeah, definitely going to be going for one of those for sure. For shizzle. Bro, this clothing is insane. So whoever's behind all this fucking work, like props to you, bro. Getting rid of all the trash and really just releasing good quality work. <clears throat> This is, I think, what Supreme needed. Whoever fucking is behind this directing shit is insane. They got some, like, uh, basketball jerseys. Uh, this, like, all over printy. Pretty sick, honestly. Big hits. <clears throat> and then more tees, more tees. Looks like we got the Fatora box logo here. Oh, damn. This is the shit that everybody was hyped about. So, honestly, with this light blue looking crazy black box logo, we haven't seen too many Fatora box logos. So, the fact that they're re-releasing... And it looks like it's going to be one color. You was raised off our shit. Holy fuck, that's a crazy back hit. And it looks like it's only going to be one fucking color. So you guys already know, you're, nobody's probably going to be able to cop. But definitely hard shirt. Definitely, definitely something you guys should look out for. You got the soccer shit. Then we got some more like Paisley St. Sebastian it's called. Damn, what a crazy shirt, honestly. This back hit's insane. Yeah, bro. Honestly, whatever their fucking the director is, damn, they're fucking running this shit. They're getting their bang for their buck for sure. Then we got another one of these like lime green shirts. Let's see. 
a pretty clean shirt going on going on just a shirt just a shirt then we got some muppets supreme uh, shirt getting straight into the pants we have the bottoms to whatever i said so let's just go through this quick and just say yes 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 all these bottoms to the tops are sick yes this big s logo i don't know leather snakeskin pants yes 100 percent. i don't know in the pink colorway but then we got the all over print brown whatever whatever have you guys ever had uh supreme pants like genuinely for personal use let me know what you guys uh think about the quality and how they fit i've been thinking about getting some real shit um but all of these look good um the actually my bad no the, these are gonna be bricks this one's pretty cool brick this bottom for the camo is gonna be cool the shorts yes 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 Ooh, this is a nice pair of shorts right there and then um i'm surprised why sabrina doesn't introduce the like drawstrings to their shorts honestly i think it'd give them a nice piece of character but this is nice as well this is nice this is nice the tie dye is crazy i don't know if i'd be rocking with it the tiger print looks sick Yes, leather shorts. Ooh, this is like some ASAP Rocky vibes right there. Some arc. We got some like floral, um, uh, fuzzy pants. We got some other shorts. Damn, we even got some <coughs> some carpenter shorts, jean shorts. That's insane. These black all supreme things are pretty insane too. Yo, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. By far, as far as clothing, best clothing release we've seen in a long time. But continuing on, see this Supreme shit. Um, uh, let's just say yes and no for each because these are gonna be easy. But cam caps kind of vary, so I'm just gonna go quick through them. But we'll see. I'd say no, 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 no. Yes, no, no, no no yes no yes 100 percent because of the soccer again my latinos are gonna be going for this shit no yes 100 percent with dude these are insane holy fuck definitely gonna need one of these no yes no 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 yes on the italian shit no no oh we got some world war ii memorabilia or some shit like that uh, if you guys watch ink master oliver peck actually uses a lot of these hats the black cat sorry guys so my laptop actually just died but going on continuing on with the hats so we got these cursive letters i say no ugk if the brand is good yes street fighter yes with the folded bill if you guys like doing that we got some la uh socks dodgers san francisco definitely yes you know for those those are gonna be insane hats we got the regular s logos possibly but continuing on let's see why is this not loading now okay <clears throat> continuing on Fatoras are gonna be yes. Box logo with some markers. I don't know what that means, but I guess yes. Some more box logo, yes. Buckets, no, 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 no. All right. Beanies, no, no, no. Yes on the knitted, like, funky colorway. Those are gonna be a yes. Then we got some more of these crazy Supreme beanies. I say yes to those. The rest are a no. Continuing on, balaclavas. Obviously, some of these, yes, but some of these, like, ugly ones, no. Bags, honestly, unfortunately, guys, don't even resell anymore like they used to. It's so disappointing to see that, but definitely gonna be no for mostly all these bags, as they've already released and they've already, like, done bad, so definitely not any of these. The canvas bag, but I actually have the white canvas bag, and I thought that was gonna resell when it first came out like four years ago, and it's been breaking ever since. So, these bags, no. All right, guys, we got straight to the accessories, but I think that deserves its own respect, and let's go to the section. So, 
motorcycle cool but none of us are getting this shit so no uh the the actual helmet itself pretty sick definitely yes the gloves yes synthesizers if you guys like beats that's definitely hard we also got some rhythm composers yes Ooh, this crazy tent looks insane i don't fucking camp but i might just do that shit and then we got some token lamp um <laughs> Honestly, if you guys have kids, I think that's nice. But as a grown adult, I don't think I'm getting this. Um, utility cart, no. An icy slushy maker, 100% yes, no doubt. A bucket, I don't know, guys. How often do you guys really need a bucket other than your car? But I guess if you want to flex. But definitely, I guess you can get that. The folding table, that's hard. I'd definitely go for the folding table. The shears. See, that's just racist because I'm going Mexican and I say no, but you know, you guys are probably going to say yeah. <laughs> the first gear trucks, I think these are cool. Definitely yes for the right price. A pressure washer, definitely hard to go along with your bucket. Say, uh, Saint pillows, a thousand percent yes. Tote trays, no. Cooler bags, no. French press, no. Fiji films, a hundred percent yes. Some dodgeballs, fuck yeah. Um, knives, no. Incense, uh, if you guys are into that shit, I guess. Not really me. Some spice, I don't even know what the hell that is, no. Post-its, no. Uh, leather work jack, leather work gloves, finally, I guess, yes. Belts, um, we've already seen these released twice, so no. It's probably just leftovers. Bandanas, no, I'm good. Tetris minis, maybe. Uh, locks, not really, not really, not really. Tonal towels, already seen these released, so no. 190 toolbox, no. Notebook, oh yes. All these are the regulars, just wheels. Um, wow, guys, I thought we were gonna see something crazy for the accessories, but that's by far the saddest accessories line I've ever seen. So let's get straight to the skateboards. This is gonna be a no. I guess a Blackwood is cool. Fator skateboards, yes. Margaret, if it's important, I guess. But otherwise, these two boards could or possibly not resell. But I think that's gonna do it for this, guys. I think, I think my honest opinion, this is an insane clothing uh, season by far. The best season I've seen for clothing, a thousand percent. Tons of shit that I'm gonna try to go for. The week is actually out, guys. I've seen a lot of this stuff that's already gonna be out and be sold. Apparently, the box is actually gonna be resold this first week. So keep an eye out for that. So keep a, a close tab on anything you guys hear Supreme. It's gonna be the first week this Thursday. Sign ups are tomorrow. So make sure you guys go from you know Tokyo to New York to California. Anywhere you guys want, China, I think we got it, or Shanghai, I think, or that's going to be soon. Um, but Italy, every store is going to be open on Thursday, 8 a.m., 11 p., 11 a.m., you know, depending on your time zone. But let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in this week's Live Cop. Murder on the beach, so it's not nice.